Hey guys, this is going to be a Valentine's Day special. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who wants to be your Valentine's and what plans do they have in store for you or what does Valentine's Day have in store for you. Before we begin with the reading, I just want to thank the team at Rose Forever. They have sent me this beautiful bouquet of handcrafted roses. The reading, the video itself is being sponsored by Rose Forever. Um, now, roses symbolize love and affection, and it makes them the ideal choice for Valentine's Day flowers. You can head over to their website, um, Rose Forever Shop, and uh, check out their beautiful handcrafted selection of roses. They offer a wide array of roses for Valentine's Day, and uh, which is perfect for conveying your heartfelt emotions. Just a little bit about the company before we start. Uh, Rose Forever is a New York based brand. Now they've launched back in 2019. They designed some luxurious roses, um, all natural, and they stay fresh and gorgeous for at least up to a year. Each rose is handcrafted by professional flower artisans, and each rose is treated with natural oil to preserve freshness and beauty. The flowers are carefully arranged inside a box inspired by Parisian chic style. They do offer dozens of beautiful design options based on customer and uh, influencer feedbacks. They have an enormous choice of rose colors, box shapes and sizes, different materials which allow customization to match individual taste or even like home interior design. Um, They've designed over 10 different box options. There's black velvet, there's baby pink suede. They're all vegan friendly and they, they're all high quality cardboard boxes. There's different, um, they offer different like looks and feels. And there's also an elegant transparent crystal box with a jewelry, uh, like a jewelry drawer that they also offer. So as I've mentioned before, they, they make some wonderful uh, Valentine's Day gifts. So you can uh, head over to their website. I will include the link to the Rose Forever shop just below the video here. There's also a $30 discount code is available on any purchase. So all you have to do is use the code BLACK30, which will also be listed and included in the video below. And they're also offering free shipping worldwide. So there's also a discount code and... Um, the discount code is influencer and that too will be linked just below the video so thanks again to the team at rose forever for those of you that don't yet have your valentine's day uh, gifts sorted be sure to head over to their website and take a look as i've mentioned they do have some beautiful handcrafted roses and designs to choose from now with all of that being said let's go ahead and let's begin with the reading so today's reading is going to focus on valentine's day so we want to see who is it that wants to be your valentine's and what plans do they have for you See that. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune Judgment, 
and the Ten of Swords magician below that. Okay, this is a very interesting mix of energies actually. So it looks like it's a very interesting mix of energies this Valentine's Day. For a lot of you, it isn't the Valentine's Day that you were anticipating or that you were expecting, okay? A lot of you, I feel like, have had these really um, high hopes or these, you know, grand expectations for Valentine's Day. And unfortunately, um, this Valentine's Day may not meet those hopes or those expectations, okay? Um, you know, as annoying as the commercialism around Valentine's Day can be, the holiday itself is ultimately about true love, okay, and the nature of love. And this Valentine's Day, I do think that even though for some of you it's not going to be the Valentine's Day that you are hoping for or that you are anticipating, um, but it is going to be very meaningful and it is going to be significant in a big way. I want to acknowledge the presence of the Tower, okay, the Tower card here, and I think this is to me, I'm really drawn in the, uh, to the Tower card here, and I think this is, for a lot of you, this is where your Valentine's Day sort of, you know, centers around. I feel like for some of you, you are in a disconnection or a separation or, um, you know, your, you and your loved one here, you and your romantic energy, maybe in a no contact, no communication phase. Maybe you guys have broken up, okay? Maybe it's just recently maybe some of you are going to be breaking up on valentine's day or shortly after but there is this separation this disconnection this breakup uh, this um something here that has wedged distance in between you and your person now for some of you you and your romantic energy have been in a no contact, no communication period for quite some time. It may have been weeks or it may have been months. But I think that this Valentine's Day is really going to force your person to, and also force you to ask questions that you may have been avoiding. Maybe around your relationship or maybe around, you know, the future of your relationship. Um, for some of you, I think that maybe you're on the, and again, this isn't probably good news, but I'm just being honest. Some of you are in a relationship that's on the verge of a collapse, okay? And this is why the tower moment is here. You might be holding on to something that isn't necessarily real, okay? It's, you know, the relationship is built on a tower of illusions. And this Valentine's Day, that tower could all come collapsing down. Or it might, something here might happen which might confirm the suspicions that you had about your person and about the relationship okay and you might then be forced to break it off with this person or you might be put in a situation where you have no other choice but to acknowledge that this relationship is not what you want and it's not working out so I think that and as much as it sucks I think that there's going to be affirmation that you actually will receive okay and this isn't for all of you this is just for some of you some of you are going to be receiving and that's why I said it's not the Valentine's Day that you had hoped for, but you will receive affirmation that you actually need in order to end a connection or in order to end a relationship for good, okay, and actually move on from this person. Um, for others of you, I think it's going to put you and your person into a situation where I think you're going to really analyze, even overanalyze your relationship and your connection with this person, okay? Um, It's, there's a lot, I feel like it's, it's difficult to accept that a relationship here is over or a relationship is coming to an end, okay? But for some of you, I feel like there's something here that isn't working and it can't be fixed, okay? So instead of wasting your time trying to fix what doesn't feel like it's fixable, it's probably best to end the relationship. Um, so for some of you, you're not going to be in a position where you're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day and what you have. Um, I think your attention and your energy is going to be directed elsewhere. And I think for a lot of you, you're going to be, you know, directing that attention to yourself, okay? So, um, you know, reminding yourself about the love that you deserve, reminding yourself, um, you know, you're going to be reflecting on a lot of things, on things that aren't working, um, 
but I also feel like you're going to be given the opportunity this Valentine's Day to to celebrate yourself, okay? So celebrate yourself, the love that you deserve, okay? The type of a relationship that you want. And for a lot of you, I think that the focus is going to be on building a better relationship. And it's going to start this Valentine's Day. And that's why I feel like it's all around Valentine's Day. And it has something to do with a breakup or a separation or a disconnection from this person. I do think that this... I think you've worked really hard to get a relationship, to get this relationship going, to build this relationship. And I think you're still emotionally invested, as is your person. But there's something here that is putting you on two different paths or is put or has put you in a separation or disconnection with your person. Okay, For others of you, I think that... I think that someone here whom you have maybe broken up with is going to use this Valentine's Day as an excuse to reach out to you and communicate with you, okay? But again, them reaching out to you, them communicating with you is going to put you in a position where you're really going to reflect on what you have with this person or what you had with this person and whether, you know, because there's something here that has collapsed, right? A relationship you know, it wasn't working, it's collapsed. Maybe it was built on a tower of lies or a tower of illusion. It all came crumbling, uh, crumbling down. So either on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day, this is going to be an opportunity for you to reflect on what you had with this person and whether what you still have is, you know, is a healthy and sturdy enough of a foundational structure for you to rebuild the relationship and the connection on. So you clearly have gone and maybe still are going through a difficulty of um, like a difficult period or a challenging period uh, with your person okay and I think that this Valentine's Day isn't what exactly you know what you had planned or what they had planned for you as well um, but I do think it may be an opportunity for some of you okay not for all of you but I think it's going to be an opportunity for some of you to restart a relationship okay rebuild a relationship rebuild a connection um, so someone he might return okay someone he might return to you know come back to your life return to you and they want to because there's still a lot of emotions there okay this person still has a lot of feelings for you so they might want to start the relationship over again okay um there's a lot of mixed feelings though i think them reaching out to you and them communicating here is going to evoke a lot of mixed feelings um on the one hand i think some of you are going to as i've mentioned earlier you're going to be doing a lot of reflecting and re-evaluating your relationship and what you had with them and whether what you've had is worth rebuilding Okay, some of you are going to, um, you're going to want to give it a shot, okay, because it's, you know, you're going to reconnect, even though your relationship has hit a rocky point or a turbulent um, time, you're going to want to reconnect with this person or with the ex. For others of you, you might surprise yourself that even though this person wants a second chance or wants to reconnect with you, you might surprise yourself because you're not going to be in a position where you want to reconnect with this person or rekindle this broken relationship. And even though you're still, you know, you may still have some very strong feelings for this person, you might not think it's worth rekindling the fire just because you don't think it's the right step for you. Okay, so again, some of you want to, are going to be wanting to give this another shot Whilst for others of you, I think that maybe, you know, you've given this person maybe one too many chances in the past where you feel like your efforts have, you know, have just been wasted on them. See, this breakup, okay, so there's been a breakup. For some of you, this breakup may have just been the best thing for this relationship. Um... Because it's an opportunity to, because you've been through a lot with this person, okay? You've been through a lot of, um, a lot of difficulty, a lot of turbulency, and a lot of tumultuous um, situations, right? W with your person. But I think the breakup is giving you an opportunity, or has given you an opportunity to, it's given a an opportunity for you to reflect on what you had here okay for some of you 
you, you're going to want to let the past remain in the past and start over in a relationship. Okay, because you're going to be comparing, you know, the good parts of that person, the good parts of the relationship, as opposed to the bad parts. You're going to compare and the good is going to outweigh the bad. Okay, but for others of you, it's, you're not going to want to start over. You're not going to want to be willing to give things a second or, you know, a third or a tenth try. Some of you are just going to wake up one morning and you you might find that your ex or this person is you know trying to reach out to you and is trying to communicate with you but there's a part of you that no longer you don't feel like they value your presence in their life and you don't want you no longer want to be seated at a table where love is not being served on the menu okay so you're starting to realize your worth you're starting to realize that you deserve better and you don't feel like you know, you, you don't feel like you can rediscover what you once had because you feel like the relationship may have been built on this tower of lies and this tower of illusion and it all came crumbling down and there's just, and you feel like there's just too much that's been lost to rebuild the connection here. Um, so for some of you, yeah, the relationship is going, the breakup in, the, in this relationship or this connection has been the best thing for the relationship because it's going to it's sort of been like it's put you and your person through a test okay a test of whether what you have what the two of you have is strong enough to withstand the storm okay because but for others of you the relationship itself is the storm okay and it's become stagnant and the spark that you've had once has unfortunately begun to fade and i think you, you know, as sad as that may be for some, you're slowly starting to realize that. So, some of you, I think this breakup, the separation is giving you a chance to, it's giving you some time to heal from the hurt and commit to letting the things that are gone remain gone. Okay, so. Something here has happened that something here has happened that I think has caused you a lot of hurt and a lot of pain and a lot of disappointment here. Okay. Um, and I think that this person has not reached out to you because they know that they've known that you needed that little bit of time to you know, to do some thinking to or to, you know, you, you needed that time before, that extra time before they can reach out to you again or you can reach out to them. It's interesting because just as I'm saying it, it feels like for some of you, it feels like this, it might not even be a breakup, okay? I, I am picking up the word break, okay? So for some of you, yes, you are broken up. But for others of you, maybe you're just taking a break. Maybe that's what this is, okay? And maybe, you know, you're spending some time apart from each other. For some of you, maybe you've agreed on how long you should spend apart, you know, and go through a period of, you know, during this break, you go through a period where you have no contact, no communication with one another. Um, maybe you're treating this as a break and you're, you know, you're taking the time to see how single life feels like and whether, you know, it's something that you want to pursue or whether you're interested in pursuing a relationship with someone new. So, it's this this period whether it's a breakup or whether you're just taking a break i think this period is an opportunity for you to gather yourself okay and reflect on your relationship okay whether you want to rediscover love that was lost whether you want to rebuild and reconnect with this person or whether you just feel like you know you still or whether you just feel like you just want to take a break so that you can decompose uh, like decompress from these really heightened emotional states that the relationship or that they've put you through okay so it's really an opportunity the way that I see it is really an opportunity for you to prepare yourself to change for the better for you to prepare to help the relationship change for the better so yes whilst you might for some of you you might be hearing from this person around Valentine's Day because they want to take this time to, you know, it's, 
it's them essentially telling you that they've been thinking about you especially on a day you know like valentine's day and the relationship is important to them and that they do want to give this a second chance they want to, to give this another go so it's you know they value the relationship enough they value the con uh, the connection enough that it motivates them to push through this difficult time or to push through these heightened states um I feel like for those of you that are interested in wanting to rebuild this connection or wanting to go back to maybe not what you had, um, but go back to, you know, and build on things, um, I think it's important to, you know, it, you if you're wanting to start over with someone, you have to start over with someone who's willing to work on themselves first, right? right? Because for some of you, I think that you might not realize, but some of the wounds that you have experienced throughout this relationship or throughout this connection may be because of projection of trauma that they've been putting onto the relationship. Okay, for instance, there may be your person may be struggling with emotional intimacy, and that could have something to do with the fact that they've had emotionally immature parents uh, growing up. Or they may be very clingy and very needy because they, you know, have this fear of abandonment or these attachment issues. So it's so important that, you know, if you are going to go back to someone, you want to go back to someone who's willing to work through any emotional baggage that they have. Okay, and the same applies for you, right? Um, so I think, you know, you don't want to go back to... Like you can't rebuild a relationship in the same environment in which you've ended things, okay? So you can't, you know, the relationship cannot get better in the environment that made it unwell to begin with, right? So it's important to understand unhealthy behaviors and to take responsibility for unhealthy patterns, okay? So that you can work on yourself or they can work on themselves and become the best version for yourself but also for your relationship. Um... There is room. I just want to say that there is room for positive change for those of you that are willing to give this connection another go or for those of you that are willing to reconnect with this person. And you might, some of you might, are going to want to take this incredibly slow. Like I'm talking about snail's pace slow. And that's okay. Okay? That is fine. So whilst I see this person is reaching out and communicating with you on Valentine's Day, it could be a little bit awkward, but I do see them speaking, you know, their primary love language, whatever that is, whether it's, you know, physical touch, affection. Um, there is physical touch here. It could be a hug for comfort. It could be a kiss for goodbye. Or there is something here that, you know, you could be walking, like you might decide to take a walk somewhere. Again, not the Valentine's Day that you, you expected, but there is... There is hope, there is potential, or there is something that that is going to happen this Valentine's Day that I think is going to be very, um, it's going to be very affirming for you, okay? So, you will feel loved, okay? Whether it's this person that, you know, reminds you that they still have love for you, or reminds you that, you know, they still care for you deeply, but I do think that you are going to feel loved, but I can see that it's hard for you to let go of any emotional pain, especially if you're feeling emotional pain, but you're not recognizing, you know, what caused it or where it's coming from. So this unresolved emotional pain is what can make this relationship struggle, okay? Especially if you're planning to get back together. If there's some unresolved emotional pain, unresolved emotional hurt, resentment, that needs to be worked through because... That's going to be a struggle, especially if you're wanting to get back things together. If you want to go, if you're wanting to get back together. Um, so both of you will have, I think you will have contact and you will have communication. And I think you will have the opportunity to air things out, okay? I'm not saying that you're going to resolve everything this Valentine's Day. For some of you, that might be the case. Um, but for, for others of you, I think it's the start of positive change, Okay. Or this Valentine's Day could be, they could say something, okay, they could communicate something to you. Or maybe it's just you wake up with this feeling where you, you feel like you're done, okay. Or, you know, something happens around this, you know, on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day that is really going to affirm how you want to move forward with the relationship. Whether you want to move forward with them in the relationship 
or whether you just want to end the relationship and move forward you know move on from them so i think it's going to be very telling here and i do think you're going to um i think you're going to you see you're going to want to take the time to understand the cause of your pain okay try not to get defensive because i see someone here is getting defensive when for example um someone here like this person might open up and they might tell you you know that they still love you even though they've put you through a world of hurt or they've put you through a lot of pain some of you might want to turn around and get defensive because you might want to tell them just how much their actions hurt you okay um it's it's a bit of an awkward conversation and i'm just being honest honestly some of you are going to have an awkward conversation because a you haven't heard from each other or you haven't spoken with each other for so long um and b because i think that because you've gone through this period of no contact no communication and of all days that you do decide to communicate you know it's valentine's day you know that they've been like you know that they've been you know holding out waiting for uh the day for, for this day to make you know to use an excuse to contact you but i think that it's, it's going to be an awkward conversation because you're getting things off your chest and you might be saying some things which have been left unsaid okay um so you possibly could be discussing some negative feelings okay some negative emotions um and that's going to be extremely important okay trying to get things out there trying to you know get things like trying to get everything out there because especially if you're wanting to repair a broken relationship okay you really need to find a middle ground on communication some of you i think that your person might write a love letter okay there you know that could be their primary love language so they could be very poetic very romantic in the sense and they may not have the courage to contact you okay or they may not have they might not be feeling brave enough to contact and communicate with you they might want to avoid that sense of awkwardness so they may choose to write you a love letter because it may feel a lot less emotionally charged than a conversation would with you okay um so especially if you've had problems or you've been in no, no contact no communication you could expect a love letter that does feel a lot less emotionally charged um because it it prevents because this words left unspoken or things have been tense things have been awkward um, it prevents the other person from becoming defensive okay and this can also make communication easier between you and this person hence why they choose they chose or they will choose to do the love letter thing um, for others of you, I do think this person might potentially show up, okay? Um, they might potentially show up and you might end up taking a stroll, going for maybe grabbing lunch or just going through a stroll through your favorite park or someplace that, um, someplace that you used to frequent and visit a lot. But I do think that, I think you're going to be learning a lot about this person's emotional state this Valentine's Day and they will be learning a lot about your emotional state as well i'm hearing choose your battles wisely so i don't know if what does that mean is this relationship worth fighting for or is this worth getting worked up over or is it worth you know getting defensive about um you know if something bothers you you can always speak about it but you can speak about it you know it, you can speak to them calmly about it so, so you don't if there is something that's bothering you and you want to get off your chest it doesn't mean you have to go you know or de in defensive mode you can speak to them about it calmly so you don't work yourself up um see i think it's important also i mean if you want to have a day where i think maybe you're not going to be arguing with one another it, it might be important to not bring up the past because i think that you know their behavior or vice versa your behavior i don't know i feel like behave um their behavior he may have hurt you deeply and you may be serious about wanting to repair the broken relationship but maybe you just haven't been able to forgive them entirely okay justice the higher friend 
Maybe you've not been able to forgive them completely here. And when you see this person, it's just a reminder of, you know, how badly they've hurt you or just how bad they've been to you. So if you're the one who has hurt your person, you should learn to forgive yourself is the message that I'm picking up for you. So if you've hurt your person, you need to uh, forgive yourself, okay? If you are at a point where you want to end a relationship with this person and you do not want to give this person a second chance, then it's important that you don't go into a new relationship with the idea that you have to make up for it or you have to make up for the past relationship, okay? Instead, just focus on becoming the person that, you know, you want to become and focus on having that relationship you want to have. Forgiveness is really big. Okay, and I'm just going to end the reading here by saying that if neither of you are going to forgive, whether it's forgiving yourself or forgiving each other, then there is no chance of a fresh start. There is no chance of a second opportunity. Okay, I've mentioned earlier, and I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be misunderstood here. I mentioned earlier, you know, not bringing up the past, right? Uh, especially on Valentine's Day, it doesn't mean that you should sweep everything under the rug and forget about what they did you what they did to you or forget about you know who hurt who or, or all the bad things that happened okay you should learn from those mistakes okay you should talk about it you should talk about it and should work through it it just might be valentine's day might not be that you know the the opportune time to do that what else Some of you are going to be restarting of the relationship that you have with yourself. Because you may have been feeling frustrated or unhappy. The energy that the relationship has brought you, okay, it's, maybe it's seeped into your energy. It's kind of seeped into your soul. And maybe you've been feeling a little bit off. Um, you know, maybe you've been withholding a lot of different emotions or withholding pain or whatnot so maybe you've been in a bad place because you've been you know you've been scared or you've been a little bit unsure so you might be wanting to i think i spoke about this you know earlier on in the reading but you might want to build a better relationship for yourself okay so that you decide you know who you want to be and how you want to be and the type of relationship that you want in the future. Something's happened here, okay, and you can scream that it's not fair and it's not the way that it was supposed to have happened or you want, but unfortunately it has happened and it's not going to change that, right? Um, but don't be resentful. Use this as an opportunity for you to grow. Use it as an opportunity for you to... You know, become the relationship, become the person that you want to be. All right, guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. So, again, not necessarily the Valentine's Day that you had pictured or that you had, you know, hoped for. But I do think there's going to be some, I do think there's going to be something very significant that happens on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day. Whether it's your person reaching out to you, whether it's you having that conversation as awkward as an uncomfortable as it might be, um, whether it's you finally, you know, you waking up in the energy or the emotional state that you feel, you might feel that you're wanting to start over or you might feel like you're wanting to put an end to things. And it might just, you know, reaffirm some things that you've been feeling and thinking all along. But I do think there's going to be something very special this Valentine's Day. It may not have been the Valentine's Day you had hoped for, but I do think that it's going to be an opportunity for you to grow or it's going to be an opportunity for you to build a better relationship with yourself. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching and for listening. Uh, please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing or um, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and uh, email. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Thanks again.